welcome to another show, another episode of uh, Rhea and Alka show. We, you know, we've, it's all, well, it's not almost, it is, it's Friday and hopefully you guys have had an amazing day, an amazing start to your day. I know we have. So today I'm going to be leading the conversation, but without without we go ahead I want to just you know say a warm welcome to all of you you're always tuning in always staying here with us so that we can implore our knowledge to you and Rhea and I we just love sharing our knowledge too so that you can improve your life and business as well so guys welcome to the show my name is Alka my name is Rhea and And welcome. welcome to to our our show. show. So friends, today I'm going to be talking about from Bob Proctor's book. So I've been talking about from various different books. Why? Is because I every book that I have shared with you, I started with Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Then I then I went on and I shared from the Millionaire Mind. And now I'm sharing with you from You Were Born Rich by Bob Proctor. And what do all of this, so just so I set in context, what do all these books have in common? It is the mind. Because with your mind, as I shared with you a couple of days ago, was on our, on our last show, was that your mind is a very powerful tool. So let me just share my screen before I go ahead. And just wanted to illustrate um just want to illustrate by sharing my screen with you so that you have a perfect idea as to what your mind is really capable of. And your mind is a very powerful tool. So we must never, ever, your mind is a very powerful tool. So we must never underestimate the potential the mind has. So. So today we're going to be talking about the secret. And I know what you're thinking. The secret genie, oh, is she going to come out from the magic lamp? Well, yes and no. Uh, Yes, because what is going to happen is that the... Your mind, as I said, is a very is a very powerful tool, and you want to make sure that whatever you are feeding the mind. So, so let's look to the illustration as to what I am talking about today. So, I want to illustrate with you, as always, about the stick figure, and the stick figure, as you know by now. You have your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. And this is the body. Okay, so here you have your conscious mind. And this is your subconscious mind. And as we know that your this is your results, So whatever you're thinking, whether it's positive or negative. And do you remember I shared with you that everything works on a vibration, on a vibratory um, notion that whatever you're putting out is at the same time you're getting back. So you're putting out, but you're getting back. And that is what the law of vibration. So the law of vibration is your, the law of vibration is your primary. That is your primary. And the law of attraction is actually your secondary. So why would, so this is how the secret genie, just so that I said in context, so this is how the secret genie, which I want to share with you today, is that whatever, 
is going on in your mind. As I said, it's the most powerful tool that we have. So it's how we use our mind, whether on a negative plane or the positive plane, whether we are, you know, happy, we are sad. Either way, we are right as to what, you know, where we are at that place in our time. So why the attraction factor, why the attraction is a secondary law, because everything is on a vibration. And as human beings, we are energy, right? We are energy. And so we vibrate. If you look at our our body is on a molecular structure. It's a, you know, everything's vibration, everything's vibrates. So that's why we are energy and energy attracts like energy. So that's why the secret genie is so powerful that once we begin to learn how the secret genie, how the secret genie, how this, how this, secret genie really comes into our life it comes into your life because whatever is going on inside internally inside your body right inside your body is happening also in the external so whatever is happening on the internal definitely is going to reflect to what's happening on the external. And that's why it's important that um, we really pay attention to the mind and we really pay attention as to what is going on internally. And I also want to give you a quick illustration is because when we look as to, you know, we are, we are vibration, okay, we are energy. And if we look as to where we need to be, so we always need to be on the three levels, on the three levels, okay? Uh, and these three level planes that we need to always operate from is the physical, Emotional and mental. So these three planes we always want to be on because everything, as I mentioned in the stick figure, that everything is vibration. And what we are feeding, what we are feeding our mind goes to our body. Whatever thoughts we are feeding our mind is going to resonate to our body. So what do I mean by that? Is that if, you know, whatever thoughts we just keep putting out there, oh, you know, all those negatives, oh, I can't do this, oh, I can't. The moment you get into, you get onto that frequency, then that is what's going to happen. You're going to get more of that. So if you don't want more of that, you need to pay attention as to what you're saying to your mind. So you need to say, do the opposite. And so that's what I just stated, that whatever you're saying, whatever is going on in your conscious mind is going to translate to your body and vice versa from your body. What's happening in your body is going to go straight to your mind. Okay. And so that's why the secret genie comes about because whatever playing whatever planes that we are on on the physical mental and emotional journey that we um we are on then that is the plane that we are going to get so i want to share with you how you can you know the the vibrations automatically will change because when you begin to change, when you begin to change your mind, when you begin to change your thoughts that you are, you are saying, um, you know, what you're feeling, because remember, I said it was the thoughts, your feelings, and your actions, right, that are going to determine as to what you get out there, 
your thoughts, your feelings and actions are most like that composite of a cake. This right? genie, because the genie, um, it talks about that, you know, whatever is happening on the internal is happening is what you're going to get on the external and whatever's happening on the external is going to it's like a it's like a broadcasting station right if you take that example it's like a broadcasting station so the waves whatever is broadcasting on the external is going to gravitate and is going to resonate in the internal so i just want to give an illustration as to when we talk about the mind, right? So this is your mind. And when we talk about the mind, so we talk about, then you have your, your conscious mind, your conscious mind, and you have your subconscious mind, right? And then you have, and from your conscious mind, you have you have the vibrations. Okay, so this is like um, the vibration that is happening. So from your mind, whatever you're thinking, whatever plane you are on, you are thinking whether you know your your emotional mind. Uh, so whether you are not say you emotionally you're not feeling well or you're feeling sad whatever those feelings are because your subconscious as I mentioned your subconscious is your feeling so it's that feeling side of your mind and you need to pay attention as to how your mind really you know how you're putting it to work because that's what it's all about. How are you putting your mind to work? What are you saying? What are those thoughts and those feelings? Because those feelings, those thoughts and feelings will determine the actions that you start to take place. So I absolutely love this because your conscious mind, you know, your genie will start to figure everything out for you. Your genie, um, it knows your genie knows as to what you desire whether it's the money that you want whether it's the home that you want your genie your, that's why it's a secret genie because a secret genie is there working for you and as I talked about in the Think and Grow Rich book by Napoleon Hill your your subconscious mind is working your subconscious is working 24-7 no matter what, whether you are asleep or you are awake, it is working for you 24-7. So that's why it is powerful. And that's why the secret genie, when you feed it right, because, you know, let me just go back to this. So if you feed it right, it's going to feed you the right um, for whatever you desire. So your body so your mind, so your body is the instrument. Let me just put that here. So your body is the instrument of the mind. And you might say, well, how is the, how is your body the instrument of your mind? Well, simply put, your body is your body is the instrument of your mind because whatever what you are feeling in your body as i said if you're feeling you're out of you know you feel out of place meaning you feel um not so good today right you don't feel good about yourself maybe you um you know something happened maybe at work something happened and you don't feel good and so that is going to cause a lot of stress. And as we know, we are being a physician, as we know, stress that takes place in your body, it, you know, a lot of disease, a lot of, sorry, not disease, but your body is not at ease, which that's what disease is, your body, which is not at ease. And so stress causes a lot of implications into our body. And so that's why we need to, you know, minimize the stress. But however, I'm, I'm just talking about why is your body the instrument of your mind? Because when you learn how to 
navigate your body, meaning how you can learn to use your body to be at ease. And that's why, if you recall, I showed the tools that I use today that really helps me to calm myself down. And so that's why your body, if your body internally is like out of sorts and it's not operating to the way how you want it to be, then that automatically is going to go, it's going to resonate to your mind. And as I talked about, if you have your goal, your goal is up here, but you are vibrating down here, you have a long way to catch up to your goal, right? So if you wanting to have that seat up goal and your goal is right up here, you and, and you are up here too with your vibration, with your energy, with what you want to desire for your life, whether it's the money, the home, the income, then you need to be in that higher frequency. Then is when you are in that higher frequency, that is when the secret genie starts to do its work. And then that's how things begin to happen. And so what I absolutely love this concept of this stick figure. And of course, um, you know, I just drew this, this illustration that your mind, you know, vibrates your mind, your body, your body is vibration, but your body is vibrating to your mind. If it's your body is that, you know, not at ease, you are stressed, then that's that's what's going to happen. So everything's on a vibration and your mind. So your mind is movement. And so this is why this is very important because, um, you know, everything is in order. And that's why the secret genie is absolutely powerful because your, the, your genie likes everything to be in order. And when you can give it order, when you are in order, when um, how you are operating is in order, Secret genie, it's going to do its secret and it's going to do its work for you. But you want to make sure that you are feeling and you are operating. So I just wanted to just stop there because this is actually very, very deep. And I don't want to go any more and then confuse you. But I just wanted to simply just share that your secret genie is there to guide you. Your secret genie is there to work for you. And is your secret genie likes everything to be in order. If it's in order, it loves it. It's going to love you. And it's going to absolutely um, give you what you desire. But you need to make sure that you are operating in that vibration, in a higher vibration to your goal. And then you want to make sure, if your goal is here, you want to make sure that you are exactly in line with your goal and that's when we are in line with the goal that means we are in the same frequency of our goals so guys i hope that this illustration actually puts something in context and it actually sort of allows you to you know if you resonate with this video uh, with this conversation uh, let me know and you know how you can truly just improve your life. I mean, we all can improve our lives. There's no way about it. But we just need to learn the tools that I shared with you last time. And so today was about the secret genie and how your secret genie loves everything to be in order. Rhea, anything that you would like to share before we then, um, end for the day? Yes, thank you, Alka. There's three lessons that I learned from your topic, secret mm -hmm. genie, of Bob Proctor's You Were Born Rich. And thank you for that amazing talk. First lesson that I learned from you is that there's three levels or planes that we need to operate from, emotional, physical, and mental. Second, the body. Our body is the instrument of our mind. And third is if our goal is high, we need to be in the higher frequency as well. 
to have the genie begin the work. Secret genie, come out! Exactly, Thank come you. out from that lamp. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, wonderfully put, Ria, but absolutely, that's exactly what it is. So the 